two weeks. And this is everything that I take with me on the day. So I'm going to go through all of this stuff. I'm going to explain the role that it plays and why you need it. And make sure you don't forget any of this stuff. Pretty much. So first things first, guys. Shoes. So you're going to want shoes that you squat in first. So Olympic lifting shoes. I've got the red Adidas Adi Powers. I'll squat and bench in these. So don't forget those. I'm not going to deadlift in these. I deadlift in the red Nike Inflix. They're a flat sole and they won't let you wear like Vibrams or go barefoot. They'll give you deadlift slippers if you haven't got any footwear to wear. So make sure you bring a flat shoe. You can wear like Chuck Taylors, anything like that. You're going to go and need a t-shirt. So for me personally, you need something that sticks. So pretty much what is this cotton just a thick t-shirt that chalk can stick to the back of it needs to stick and i'm particular as fuck about that because if you're wearing something a bit more kind of slippery like this kind of total 90 running football t-shirt nothing's going to stick to this and the bar's going to slip right off you so t-shirt essential t-shirt to go over your squats and your bench so your back can stick to the bench Wrist wraps. So I use SBD wrist wraps. Um, I think in our federation, it's no longer than two and a half meters. So you better check that. Make sure you're within that length. So two and a half meter wrap, um, no longer, otherwise they won't let you have it. So be sure to check and buy the right wrap. Wrist wraps for squat and bench. Next one. Knee sleeves, if your federation, if your category includes it. If you compete with wraps, then obviously you're going to want wraps. I've got slingshots. I've only ever used these in comp once. I'm probably going to use them again soon. Not at this meet. I've actually entered raw, so no knee sleeves, none of that stuff. That's not until Europeans. Um, also, your bread and butter. The main thing is your singlet. They won't let you compete without one. Just a standard singlet. I don't think you can get any different singlets than this one. So if you forget it, then you better hope that you've got at least some money on you so you can go out and... I don't think you can even buy a singlet from any shop apart from online. So buy this well in advance. Make sure you've got your singlet. Um, you're going to need some food. I'll see some actual food. So cook the night before. Chicken, rice, high in protein, loads of energy, fuck loads of carbs. Um, quick carbs, you're gonna want some, I take like a protein bar with me, take some sweets just to tie you over. It's gonna be a long day, it's gonna be from like what, eight until like six, seven, might have been up to. Be sure to get some Monster or some pre-workout. You're definitely gonna need something to keep you going through the day as you're pretty much maxing out. So after every lift, I would have at least a monster before my squats, and I would have a monster before deadlifts. Bench, I'm like, mm, I can sort of eat a meal, and I'm fine, but deadlifts, you're gonna need all this shit for your last lift. Exactly, and you're gonna want some kind of protein, uh, a water bottle, just so you can top up water, keep hydrated through the day. And yeah, you're gonna want a belt, obvious reasons, squat, and deadlift in particular. I don't always use the bench. Sometimes I do just to remind me to get tight. Um, you've got also got to want a screwdriver. So screwdriver, adjust it after squats, make it a little bit loose for deadlift or however you want to do it. Belt, absolute must. Unless you're a tank and you go beltless. That's your choice. Deadlift, they won't let you on the platform without socks. So I've got SBD deadlift socks. And also, when you're competing, they don't let your knee sleeves touch your singlet. So make sure that's make sure that's squared away. Don't let your knee sleeves touch your singlet. Deadlift socks, absolute must. They won't let you on without them. Chalk and baby powder. So I normally carry a box of chalk with me. There should be chalk at the meet, but there isn't always. Um, I would just I've just got a box I take with me. I just keep it in my bag. 
better safe than sorry. I wouldn't want to be competing without chalk. Let's just say that. Baby powder, deadlifts. You're going to want to sprinkle this all over your knees for when you have to grind, the bar's going to slide up your knees. Baby powder, absolute must. Don't forget that. Bands. So warming up, I've definitely helped like, it's definitely helped having these during the meet. So just to stay warm, just bands. Again, bench, squat, deadlift. You're gonna, I've got like a thick, I've got stronger kind of medium band. I've got a light band for my shoulders. I've got a smaller band just for kind of glutes um, and just things like that. So three types of bands there, different strengths. Um, you're gonna wanna need a foam roller. I kind of, I just carry a, a rolling stick with me and a foam roller, and literally be between every single lift, uh, every single attempt, I will just be rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling, and believe me, it makes a massive, massive difference. And lacrosse ball, little peanut, entirely up to you, but again, definitely helps my lower back in particular, just constantly just rolling throughout the time. And yeah, just don't forget some money. Take some earphones, have some comfortable clothing, just to keep warm. Um, yeah, pretty much.